Today I have attended an ACCA conference, the Global Educator Conference. And so this is very much hot off the press. And I've got two major things to talk about. First of all, the examining team gave us some feedback on students' performance and how that can be improved. And that's the first thing that I want to talk about. Secondly, they also discussed the changes that are going to be implemented from September 24 for the 24-25 SBR syllabus. My name is Tom Clendon. And the thing that I'm all about is helping students pass the SBR exam. So let me first of all recap on some of the things that I heard today from the ACCA, from the examining team about feedback on student performance. And I must confess, I didn't hear anything radically new, but I want to reinforce what they said because 100% I believed in it. Time management. There was a big conversation around time management, about how students need to practice questions to time. They have evidence that students overrun on question two, overrun on question one, and, and don't perform on question four. Question four often is an incomplete answer. And this is a major reason why some students fail. There was also a fair amount of conversation around question one about bad practice. Some students are not using the columns. Some students are getting over involved in putting strings of numbers in cells, which makes it very difficult for markers to mark. And so there was some encouraging words about showing your workings in an old fashioned way. Yeah, justifying the numbers that you put in, because after all, there is the own figure rule. There was talk that a substantial minority of students seem to have a car crash when cash flow comes up in question number one. There was validation of the idea that the examiner's answers are not model answers in the sense that this is what it is necessary for a good student to do to pass. That the examiner's answers, the examining team, the ACCA examining team confirmed yet again, are very comprehensive, not produced under time pressure. And they don't represent what is necessary to pass the exam. They're there for a, for a learning purpose. Yeah, they're there for reflection. They're there for education rather than you must be able to produce a quality of this answer within the time allowed. So I find that very interesting. I found that very validating. And I found those are very, very key and important messages, which I absolutely agree with. Now, the second thing that they talked about was the 2024 and 25 syllabus. So this is applicable for students doing the exam in September 24, in December 24, March 25 and June 25. Now, the headline message there is steady as she goes. The headline message there is evolution and not revolution. It's still a three hour, 15 minute exam. It's still for 100 marks. You still need 50 percent to pass. There's still four professional marks only. There's still question one on groups, question two on ethics, question three on IFRS, question four on IFRS with an investor focus angle. Same, same, but different. So what is different? And it's nuanced. There's a couple of things disappearing and there's a and there's one thing which perhaps has a higher profile than in previous diets. The losers. Accounting for SMEs has been downgraded. It's still there, but they're saying it's less important. And they confirmed 
that uh, interim reporting and the first time adoption of IFRS is, is not going to be examined. So I think that's a little bit of good news. The winners, if you like, and I don't think it's a big surprise, is sustainability reporting. Now, one of the things they were emphasising is that sustainability has been on the syllabus for a while now and has been tested for a while. But they were saying, look, it's it, it has a greater importance now that the International uh, Sustainability Standards Board has come out with a couple of accounting standards. It's now a little bit more important. And it's not a tack on. It's something which is embedded. Sustainability reporting is something which is embedded within the syllabus and can basically pop up in a number of different ways. So, for example, it could be an ethical angle that if we have a situation where somebody hasn't complied with the sustainability standards, is that a lack of understanding, a lack of competence? Or is that deliberate? Is that greenwashing? Is that a lack of integrity? So, yeah, sustainability could be examined as part of question two. Or, of course, it could be examined as part of question four. Question four tends to have that investor focus. So why is it that investors want to know about sustainability? Are there information needs being met? And the examining team confirmed that you're not going to have to prepare a disclosure requirement. Yeah, because that's what the sustainability standards want. They want disclosures. You're not going to have to prepare it. But you might just might have to critique one. So if you were given a disclosure, is it a good one? Is it a bad one? What does the investor make of it? That's interesting. And that's something I am going to build into my course. I am learning more as the exam develops and matures. So my course content will develop and mature to reflect that, to prepare you for these new types of questions which are going to come through. A little bit of knowledge around how the European Union uh, rules are going to be slightly different. Now, I am recording this yeah, in April. I'm recording this on the 25th of April, which is the day of the conference. I am fresh. I've got my notes here. I've got my memory here and I'm recording this. Um, the examining team said there is an article in preparation on sustainability that will be published. And I look forward to reading that article, digesting that article, summarising that article, integrating that article into my course. So very good that the ACCA are communicating with us uh, at the Global Educator Conference. My name is Tom Clendon. I'm reporting back to you. I help students pass SBR. Please like and subscribe to this podcast. And if I can help you pass SBR, reach out to me. Reach out to me. Yeah. What's that? 07725 350793. It's a UK number. 07725 350793. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.